All right, what's going on, everybody? It is Mike McKinstry, the host of the Bass Squatch Hunter, and I'm at the Detroit Ultimate Fishing Show. This is the last day of the fishing show, so I thought I would kind of vlog a little bit and show you my last seminar I'm doing of the weekend, of the whole show. And this is a finesse fishing seminar with Berkeley Fishing, and I'm gonna try to do this one different. So, this video might come out cool, it might not come out cool, but we'll see. So, uh, this is the tank right here. The big old Berkeley tank. Got some nice bass in it, some nice fish in it. And uh, I'm gonna try something different where I'm gonna try to drop down my AquaView camera right here. Uh, it's my first time using the AquaView. Uh, so I'm gonna see how it works. I got some cool stuff to give away right here too. So it'll be a lot of fun, but I'll see if I get some underwater shots. But here's the tank right here. Here's some of the fish that are in there. We got some bass, some panfish, some perch. And I'll be up there uh, fishing up here on top of this little boat. So uh, let's get the seminar started and uh, see if we get some cool footage. Let's go. All right, so first time using the aqua view, check that view out. That's pretty cool. It's pretty sweet. Clap once if you guys can hear me good. That was terrible. Clap one time if you guys can hear me. Come on. There we go. Clap again if you can hear me really loudly. Clap again if you're a bad fisherman. Ah, all right. We're all on the same page then. Hopefully I can help you guys out with it. So my name is Mike McKinstry. I'm the host of a show called The Bass Watch Hunter. Uh, we're on, but today I'm gonna show you guys my favorite fishing technique. It's called finesse fishing. Um, I also call it patience fishing because that's really more what it is. Finesse fishing is really small baits, light tackle, light gear, and very methodical fishing. Once you find out where the fish are, whether the top of the water column, the middle of the water column, or the bottom of the structure, then you can switch to more of a finesse style and target that specific area. And that's what we're gonna go over today. So I brought two baits with me. Um, they're both small, under three inches. Um, they're both 16 ounce baits, which is super light. And I have two different light setup rods that I use. So if anybody wants to feel this rod setup, I'm gonna pass the rod really quick. Please don't steal it. I can run fast, I promise. Um, it's the lightest rod and reel I have. It's the FX Custom Rod Titanium Series. It's 50 ton Japanese toy fabric, uh, which means nothing to pretty much everybody, but it's super light and it's very strong. Um, the reel is the Abu Garcia Z9 reel, the lightest reel in the market. It's less than like six grams, I think, or six ounces. Um, the line on that reel weighs as much as the reel does, dead serious. So if you feel anything on the bottom of this rod or the bait, any rock, I can feel a little tick. Any piece of seaweed, I can feel it scrape against my line. Now fish don't care as much as we do with the colors and the shapes and the sizes. As long as you move it correctly in the right spot, you'll have a really good chance of catching fish. And that's what we're hopefully gonna show you with finesse fishing today. Uh, so any questions on the rod or my setup before I go on top of the tank? Any questions at all? I'm either doing a really good job or you guys are shy. And then don't forget, pay attention to what I'm telling you guys at least a little bit, because afterwards I'm going to come back down. We had a bunch of bags of bait for him. So you'll see the fish get interest as it falls, right? As it flutters down is when the fish try to attack it, because it looks like a dying fish, it looks like a wounded fish, or it looks like something that fell out of a tree, something that fell down to the bottom. Man, they're biting hard. So as it falls down, you see that flutter? That's why I like the cash cow bait with the tail. He's not letting go. I thought I was taking up a mask today. So that flutter of that tail right there, that's the cash out bait. That little flutter right there, that little movement you see, that's what gets their attention as it's falling down. It replicates everything that they could be eating right now. Let's see what lets it hit the bottom. So once it hits the bottom, I can start bouncing it on the lower part of the water column. See how when it goes up, they're not chasing it? But once it falls down, let go of it. Once it falls down is when they start going after it again. What do we have for baits? I just grabbed these literally off my bait ball in my house. Uh, so, okay, so I got the next bait. So, lucky. so this is the hit worm. It's a four and a half inch bait. It looks like a long leech. So you can use these wacky rig, shaky head. You can use them on a net head even. Um, I've used these on drop shots. These are awesome baits. Uh, I think these ones were actually, uh, well, these ones were designed, or they weren't designed. I think for Mike Kelly makes them now. Oh, this one. So these ones are pumpkin seed color, which mimics almost every fish in here too, which is perfect. So we'll start out easy question. We'll make it easy, make sure you guys pay attention. What was the first retrieval? I didn't finish the question, I'm curious. Go ahead. What was that? Yeah, that's different 
Maybe we got it right. I didn't even finish the question. There you go. <laughs> so that was really easy. Guys. Good round of applause. If someone wins something, let's clap. Let's do something cool, right? Free baits are awesome, right? Uh, so this one is the general. So this is the big uh, version of the little general. Uh, so now we have a really cool auto giveaway. So this is my favorite rod combo to teach kids how to fish with. So I work with over 600 kids a year at the kids' camps in West Bloomfield, and I donated 50 of these to the camp this year, and every kid loved them. So what this rod does, and if an adult wins this, it's fine, but you have to give it to a kid. If you have a kid in your family, um, let me get the rubber bands off this. So it is a two-piece rod, and it's called the Customize It series. These just came out this year, this last summer, from Shakespeare. Here, what kind of fish? Large rock bass, that was easy, there you go. <laughs> so that rod is awesome for dock fishing, for jigging, it's a really cool rod. So yeah, hey, it's a fishing rod, guys, come on, here we go. All right, so I have, what's your name? Correct, good job, all right, there you go. All right, what's your age? What's your age? What color is your shirt? That's a hard question, honestly, it's leopard. For cheetah, leopard, there you go, all right. <laughs> So if anybody has any other questions, I'm gonna hang out up here at the table for a minute. If you guys wanna check out those fishing rod setups, you're more than welcome to come check them out. I have some autograph cards. If anybody wants some autographs, it makes the paper work a little bit less, but it looks cool on your wall. And you can also see in the back of our YouTube channel watch our show. But thank you guys for watching the seminar. All right, that was an awesome seminar. I had a lot of fun. I met some really cool people afterwards too. Talked some fishing. Uh, lost one bait in the tank, but they're aggressive and they just keep on grabbing that line over and over and I'm letting them fight with it. So either way, hopefully uh, this footage came out good. Hopefully you guys liked the seminar and might have learned something about uh, some of the retrieves that I use, even though the audio probably isn't great because it was GoPro the whole time. But either way, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Instagram and watch our show on cable. It's a really good time. Talk to you soon. Bye. The Basquatch Hunter. Subscribe on YouTube.